hi guys and welcome back to my channel today we're going to be making an easy pot of coconut rice rice and gondolas it's going to be delicious paul is going to be making some jerk chicken today for dinner and i am making the coconut rice to go along with the jerk chicken so he is going to be doing a video on the jerk chicken as well we're going to be using one cup of cilantro one red onion i was going to use a white onion but for some reason i don't have any so i ended up having to use a red onion so this is one whole medium red onion i wanted to give it a little bit of color so i'm using one whole orange yeah orange um pepper i'm using a half a head of garlic roughly chopped sorry there's some cilantro pieces in there i'm going to be using one tablespoon of crushed ginger this is optional you guys know that i always talk about when the winter is here i try to incorporate um, fresh ginger and fresh turmeric and fresh garlic to a lot of my dishes because it's healthy it's healthy for the immune system for us and the kids so i am incorporating about one tablespoon of fresh um, chopped ginger i'm going to be adding a couple of bay leaves i'm going to add some so that and to use some garlic powder i'm going to be using some pink salt i'm going to use three chicken bouillon i'm going to use two cans of coconut milk and use a one can of gandules in coconut milk it's a 15 ounce can i'm going to be using four cups of long green rice that i've already rinsed so and let's get started okay guys so to start um cooking our veggies i'm going to add one tablespoon of olive oil to our pot then i'm going to start by adding my onions my peppers yes one cup of cilantro now i'm going to add my garlic and my ginger i'm going to add two tablespoons of garlic I mean teaspoons, I'm sorry. I'm spilling this, so I'm gonna say three tablespoons of sultan. I'm gonna add my three ham bouillons. You can add chicken bouillon if you like as well. Vegetable bouillon is up to you. adding one can of coconut milk which is 13 and a half ounces oh it smells so good guys i'm gonna add two bay leaves because these are kind of small okay i'm going to add one can of I'm gonna add one can of the green pigeon peas um, in coconut milk, okay? So this one is in coconut milk. one tablespoon of pink salt that I'm going to add my long grain rice and this is four cups of long grain rice I'm gonna give this a mix We 
we're going to add our second cup. So I'm adding my second can of coconut milk. I filled this can where the beans came of water. So that's one. And then I filled up the can where the coconut milk came in. So that's two. Stir it really quick. I'm going to add one more teaspoon of salt. And give it a mix. All right, guys, I'm going to add one more packet of the ooh, ham bouillon. So that's one packet per cup of rice. I'm gonna sprinkle some black pepper. And this is up to you. And I'm gonna give it a mix on the bag, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna give it a mix. I'm gonna let it come to a boil. That way I can give it another taste, make sure that my seasoning all right. Mm, now it's good. All right, guys, let's give it a mix. And give it one last taste. I want to taste it. You want to taste the water? Not the rice. The rice is so hard. No. All right, let's give it a taste and see. Oh my God, it's delicious. It doesn't need anything else. All right, guys, so now bring your um, heat down to, um, to a low to medium heat. So I'm putting mine uh, at about a three. We're going to give our rice a one last stir. Looks so pretty with all the different colors. And no, I didn't make it into yellow rice. I have made um, coconut rice before with the gandules, yellow rice. But this time, because we're having it with um, jerk, I wanted to switch it up a bit. So I'm going to cover my rice with some platano leaves, plantain leaves. And you can find these at, at the um, your freezer section in your supermarket especially if you go to a Latin supermarket. And these are the same plantain leaves that we use when we make um, pateles. Let me get some foil. If you don't wanna add the banana leaf, you don't have to, and you don't have to cover your rice with foil if you don't want to. I always do. I find that my rice comes out really moist. It could be just me, so this is it. So we're gonna allow this to cook anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes, depending on your stove. Um, I'll check my rice after 35 minutes. Alexa, set the timer for 35 minutes. Second timer, 35 minutes. Yeah. All right, guys, so everyone is served what I have to eat, but this is our rice, we're starving. This is Paul's jerk chicken, so look out for this tutorial as well. He made his own tutorial. I did the tutorial on the um, coconut and hot rice. Sauce. And hot sauce. Look, this one of the plates. Uh-oh, that's Paul's plate. <laughs> Yum. All right, guys, so um, make sure, oh, I just got burned again. Make sure you give this recipe a try. Um, and let me know how you like it. 
with that said, oh, let me show you the plating. Yeah, I'll be back. All right, guys, so this is my plate, and yes, we're eating in paper plates. <laughs> Look at that jerk chicken, and of course, you know, I've got to have my aguacate. And then that coconut rice made with that coconut milk and the ginger and all of that. Delicious. So, like I said, look out for Paul's jerk chicken um, tutorial. Make sure you give this rice a try. It's check me amazing. Out on my page. Yes, Paul's this eating so right good. now. Mm. That's his plate. So, all right, it's simply now we're crafting, cooking, and such. So, until the next video, guys. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Food makes you happy? What? Food makes me happy. All right, don't do that. <laughs>